In fact, I no longer value this kind of memento. I no longer want reminders of what was, what got broken, what got lost, what got wasted. There was a period, a long period, dating from my childhood until quite recently, when I thought I did. A period during which I believed that I could keep people fully present, keep them with me by preserving their mementos, their things, their totems. The detritus of this misplaced belief now fills the drawers and closets of my apartment in New York. There is no drawer I can open without seeing something I do not want on reflection to see. There's no closet I can open with room left for the clothes I might actually want to wear. In one closet that might otherwise be put to such use, I see instead three old Burberry raincoats of John's, a suede jacket given to Quintana by the mother of her first boyfriend, and an Angora cape long since moth-eaten given to my mother by my father not long after World War II. In another closet, I find a chest of drawers and perilously stacked assortment of boxes. I open one of the boxes. I find photographs taken by my grandfather when he was a mining engineer in the Sierra Nevada in the early years of the 20th century. In another of the boxes, I find the scraps of lace and embroidery that my mother had salvaged from her own mother's boxes of mementos. The jet beads, the ivory rosaries, the objects for which there is no satisfactory resolution. In the chest of drawers, I find papers written by Quintana when she was still at the Westlake School for Girls, the research study on stress, the analysis of Angel Clare's role in Tess of the Durbervilles. I find her Westlake summer uniforms. I find her navy blue gym shorts. I find the blue and white pinafore she wore for volunteering at St. John's Hospital in Santa Monica. I find the black wool chalet dress I bought her when she was four at Bendel's on West 57th Street. When I bought that black chalet dress, Bendel's was still on West 57th Street. It was that long ago. Other objects for which there is no satisfactory resolution. I continue opening boxes. I find more cracked and faded photographs than I want ever again to see. I find many engraved invitations to the weddings of people who are no longer married. I find many mass cards from the funerals of people whose faces I no longer remember. In theory, these mementos serve to bring back the moment. In fact, they serve only to make clear how inadequately I appreciated the moment when it was here. How inadequately I appreciated the moment when it was here is something else I could never afford to see.